Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the Benton Editor. Now this week we're going into another app review for knitting. This one is called Knit Rhino. Uh, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. I uh, apologize if I am not. Uh, now this week, uh, this app is a little bit different from the app from last week. It is not a counter app. It's more of a pattern app. Um, really quickly, I've been using my Apple phone and also I have a little video at the end in case anyone's wondering before you download it. Um, now it is a free app. Now going back to what I was saying about a pattern app. Now what you can do is they give you a library of patterns that you can choose from. You do have to pay for the uh, actual patterns. Um, the one I download, there are a couple of free ones. I downloaded a free one just to kind of play around with the app. Now once you get into that actual pattern that you choose, you can make a lot of notes in terms of needle size, yarn, kind of all that stuff, but it will display the app for you. It will display the pattern for you. And it will keep track of where you are in the pattern by highlighting the row. You can advance it or go back in case you advance too far. Uh, I had a little trouble advancing at first, but once I got the hang of it, um, it became much easier. Um, I Again, like I said before, I was using this on my phone, so probably it might have been a little bit easier on a larger like tablet than on my phone, just in terms of like, you know, phones a little bit uh, small real estate in terms of like apps like this. You can adjust the size of the pattern to make it as big or small as you want. So again, if you hop onto your iPad, it's probably a, bit, a little bit easier to see like the entire row, row especially if you get into a longer row for it. Um, but it was a really smooth, really nice app. Um, I wish they did have a couple more uh, patterns that uh, we could, you know, like buy and download. Um, that's my only real complaint because like they did a really good job of displaying and have following along with a pat, uh, with a pattern. Um, if you use a lot of diagrams in terms of knitting and patterns, it's a good app to use, but it is kind of limited in that. Uh, I didn't see a way to like upload a patterns or anything like that. So it's just kind of what they have is what they have um, for now. So I mean, it's a good app to kind of go back to and look at more to see if there's any other apps that are any other patterns that they might have eventually but they did a good job once you get it into working in the pattern to follow along um which i can appreciate because if you are like me and carry your yarn with you if you want to follow a pattern it's much easier to do it on the phone than have like a piece of paper might get lost destroyed etc on your phone We're, we all have our phones on us so it's much a little bit easier to uh, keep track of and you can make all the notes that you want within the pattern. So I would definitely check it out um, And I wish they just had more patterns. But anyway, um, like I said, there'll be a little bit more of the video of me Just playing around the app in case you want to take a look before you download the app um, And I will see you next week. Bye